What's up guys, ZFR back here, and that's right, we are talking about Rick and Morty Season 3, Episode 2. So, this episode was honestly pretty freaking amazing. I actually liked this episode a lot. I mean, it was actually really enjoyable. And one thing I want to point out right away about this episode is that it felt so different in my opinion from a lot of other Rick and Morty episodes and that's weird because it felt different while feeling the same like you still got classic Rick and Morty stuff all over the place in this episode but you also got a lot of stuff we don't always get in every single episode for instance like um a very important main story line um throughout the episode that's going to kind of affect how the show goes on um for the next couple episodes or for the rest of the um show's existence or whatever i mean we've had moments like that in the show before but never like a whole episode focused around them in my opinion so i think this is pretty amazing i i actually really did enjoy this episode um so getting into this episode let's just talk about it so the episode starts off with rick Mor morty and summer coming back from an event sir and you know we see get to see jerry's moving out and stuff and we get to see how kind of pathetic he is still and everything just um talking about going for custody or whatever instead of staying and fighting for his family or you know maybe he's coming to the realization that he doesn't want to be with beth anymore like morty says later on we really don't know which is something i feel like they're going to explore later this season but overall pretty much we get to see Morty and Summer dealing with um Beth and Jerry's divorce for most of this episode in their own different ways and they kind of find comfort in this post-apocalyptic Mad Max wasteland that Rick takes them to for this crazy um mineral or whatever and I just really liked how they played some of the stuff out in this episode for instance like um Summer kind of it just is going off of the rails like she's just she doesn't care about anything she's all angry and you know frustrated and she's just taking it out on um other people in the wasteland and everything and then you um see her meet that dude the, the leader of this um wasteland gang or whatever and you kind of see them get together and I love how later on you start to see that their relationship very quickly turns into um, Beth and Jerry. Because the guy kind of reminds you a lot of Jerry. Um, especially when he takes his helmet off and starts rambling on and stuff. So it's kind it was kind of funny to see how, you know, she wanted to be with somebody who was kind of like her dad. Because that just kind of shows you she does kind of miss Jerry. And she is going to miss him even though he's gone and stuff. Um, and that kind of leads to the conclusion towards the end of the episode where she goes to visit him. I just really thought that was some great stuff, um, that they drew in there. That was something subtle that I didn't even catch the first time, but that, that was, um, pretty nice. And then you have Morty, who's just mad at his dad, like I said for early earlier he's pretty much mad at him for not either staying or and fighting for um the relationship to work or you know just not moving on and whining about it and whatever so i like how um we get to see morty kind of bond with this arm that kind of has big problems as well you know he's all pissed off because last thing that happened before um, you know, he was separate from his body. He watched his family burn to death and stuff. So he's taking out on people. Maury's taking out on people. And then they find a trace of his family. And you see him go over there and kill the slaver and everything. Uh, like, just some pretty intense stuff for Morty this episode. Morty's character definitely is getting darker. And I feel like that's going to be something to look out for for the rest of the season. And once again, the rest of this show. So that's going to be interesting. I love the um, resolution there where we kind of get to see Morty and the hand kind of come to the conclusion. You got to deal with your problems up front instead of trying to um, run away from them and stuff. So I, I really did like that. And, you know, he kind of even um, 
he kind of even tells that to his mom later at the end of the episode and you know see it kind of makes her feel better and stuff so yeah that's um pretty awesome stuff and of course you got rick being rick. rick is always awesome rick and morty would not be rick and morty without rick of course so like rick in this episode we didn't do too much but we did see him pretty much ditch summer and morty and build robot versions of them which i thought was pretty funny and I, I love the android um summer and morty and ha especially how at the end the morty tried to be a real boy and everything but rick's override um system kind of took back over and everything that, that was pretty funny so yeah rick still is pretty much a jerk who pretty much loved his grandkids in um a wasteland but at the same time they were acting like brats or whatever but Overall, really solid episode. I feel like we really um made some progress with the story in this episode, which once again that doesn't happen in every single episode. I feel like every single episode up until this point has been kind of building the characters or focusing around Rick and Morty and their characters and their relationship mostly or just filler. I feel like this and a few other episodes from before are the only ones that have really pushed the story ahead a lot. And I really did enjoy that about this episode. So I am excited to see what happens next week. I want to see um, how if this continues. Like they said, this is going to be the darkest season of the show yet. So I'm expecting to see some... Um, pretty strong stuff when it comes to what's going on with the story and everything i'm kind of interested to see if they keep this up um you know with having the story really kind of move forward throughout all these episodes that would be pretty awesome but anyway guys tell me what you guys think about the episode if you loved it if you hate it leave a like down below if you did and don't forget to hit that subscribe button that really helps us out here and i will see you guys on the next one